This next video in our facilitator series is about how best to involve children and youth in the family meeting process. As you know, family meetings are the heart of CFE and where the real work happens. Ideally, children are encouraged to attend their family meetings whenever possible. This work is all about them, after all. In preparation for their attendance, the youth should be told who has been invited and provided the opportunity to weigh in on who they would or would not like there. If there's someone coming to the meeting that the youth doesn't feel safe with or doesn't want there, it's important to put a plan in place to figure this out with them. Let the child know what to expect at the meeting, such as what will be discussed and what the focus of the meeting will be. One way to uplift the voice of the youth is to encourage them to participate in a way that is meaningful and comfortable for them. For those youth who don't like to speak much in the presence of others, perhaps sharing their connectedness map, circles of trust, or other CFE tool may be an option to share their thoughts, worries, hopes, or questions. The youth can also be encouraged to participate in the meeting by seeing if they'd like a special job or a task to do, such as helping to write the notes, changing the flip chart paper, or advancing the slides if the meeting is happening online. Cultural, religious, and identity factors are also important to include. The youth can be encouraged to open the meeting with a poem, prayer, song, sage burning, dance, and or sharing of food. Anything that acknowledges the youth's culture, religion, or identity can help them use their voice and find their space within the meeting. An important consideration is to ask the youth their gender pronouns. For example, she, he, they, or something else. Pronouns should be discussed in advance with the youth before being asked in a group of people. Not assuming a youth's gender identity can be helpful and empowering, as this recognizes that their gender is important and respected. If the youth will not be at the family meeting, whether by choice or circumstance, explore with them other ways for their voice and thoughts to be shared. Some ideas may be for them to write a letter, record a video, or have the results of a CFE tool shared on their behalf. The agenda could also be reviewed in advance with the youth, and their input regarding each agenda item can then be shared at the meeting. Circumstances may change as the family meeting process progresses, so just because the youth isn't at one family meeting doesn't mean they shouldn't be at the next one. Efforts should be made throughout the life of the case and for each family meeting to involve the youth. Updates can be given to them following any family meeting that they were not able to attend. Mindfully preparing the child or youth to participate in their family meeting, however possible, is vital to successful engagement and involvement. Thank you for making your best efforts to hold the youth central in this process.